Hey everybody, I'm going to do another um, part to my Modern Age, Bronze Age, and Copper Age comic books. Hopefully you enjoy this. Like I said, I'm just flipping through, showing you the books, and you'll see that these covers exist. I'll read the numbers off to you, and you can look up when they came out and everything like that. I said most of them, these are going to be 1970 to 2000. I tried to keep it uh, around that time. And everything. I just thought, when I looked at all the books, I said, wow, I got a pretty good amount of... Um, uh, Copper Age and uh, Bronze Age books. I said, let me show these. So these are all DC though right now. So hopefully um, as we go along, as I said, once I do these, then I'm going to go to Marvel. Or maybe I'll switch it up. I'll do DC and then Marvel, or I'll just <laughs> just stick with it. What? Hopefully you enjoy this. Let's go uh, uh, through these now. Here's um, The Secrets of Haunted House. This is number 38. Mr. E unlocks the shattering secrets of Haunted House. Ooh, it's a werewolf. Now that you know my true identity, Mr. E, you shall be the next to die. Oh my gosh, he's scary. Look at that. Look at the ears. He's returned from hell, the twice-cursed man, in another battle against Mr. E. Some of the stories they come up with, you're like, really? <laughs> okay, now we got this one. You could be a winner in the second Superman movie contest. Details inside. This one's number 73. It came out in February. We challenge you to read Ghost. I've run him down. If I leave him here, no one will ever know. Wow, man. He's coming to get him, though. He's like, hey, man, this ghost is coming out. He'll follow you forever, the specter of Haunted Highway. Wow, man. That brings, like, like memories and everything. Like, you think of uh, your past, and you're like, oh, man. Silly things you did and stuff. And you're like, oh, that's scary. That's scary. So, we challenge you to read Ghost, New Tales of the Weird and Supernatural, number 77. It doesn't say what month this one came out in. Oh, June. There it is. June. Wow, that's scary. What a, a skeleton, ectoplasmic lion or tiger, bear, whatever. What is that? The bear doesn't have a tail like that, so it's a lion or a tiger. No saber tooth because the teeth aren't that long. It's some feline, vicious feline coming at him. Mad because he keeps getting whooped or something like that. He's like, hey, I'm coming to get you now. Three soul-shocking stories, including Ghost, Where Do You Hide? Mm. Okay, now we got, let me put three more out here. So we got, here's a ghost one here, a warlord, and we got a house of mystery. This one's, You Will Believe in Ghost, New Tales of the Weird and Supernatural. This is number 98, March Here's a specter in there. Cool. You see. You're not my father. You're a fraud. Just like the specter. What? Get out. Really? Yeah, let's find out. Maybe he's not full of it. We'll see. Doctor 13. The ghost breaker. In the haunted house. And the specter. So what's he going to break? By hurting their feelings? Or something like that? Is that what he's saying? Does he really mean it? That's a cool background, though. Let's see. Now we got two tales of the lost world of the warlord. This one's number 28 from December. That's a cool cover. Wow. The yellow lady has him. Wow. Look at the pose. Look at. Ow. Look at the leg. How in the world is he twisted up like that? It looks cool. I mean, the muscle, muscles and everything, but uh, I don't think, uh, ouch. So, cool though. Mike Grell, The Curse of the Cobra Queen, Queen plus Wizard World. Hey, I wonder if Wizard stole that. I don't know. Okay, now we got Elvira's House of Mystery, and this was number three. 
and that came out in May 1986. Okay. Want to know how the West was really won? Really? Green Lantern number 200 is a very special issue. Okay, let me just get three more of these babies out of here. We got Mr. Miracle, Phantom Zone, and Superboy starring the Legion of Superheroes. This one over here is, it's a simple trap. A 50-story building with doors, windows, exits, and people. Can he leave it? Alive? Dr. Bedlam, test Mr. Miracle. This one's number three. It came out in August. So I'm not sure of the year. But you can check it. Wow. Look at that. That's cool. Everybody's in color. And he's all white. Like blank. Like the new uh, Moon Knight character. Kind of like when they do him. Buy it. But don't swallow it. The Paranoid. Uh oh. My, my, the Paranoid Peel. Everybody's scared. Okay. Now we got Superman starring in. Phantom Zone, miniseries 204. This one's number two, which came out in February, or a February. Nice cover. Uh-oh, Supergirl's down. We've won! Supergirl is dead! You better hope not. In this issue, Earth Under Siege, guest starring Batman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Zatanna, and many others. More new pages from the new DC. That's cool. Let's go over here now to Superboy, starring the Legion of Superheroes, the line of DC superstars. This one came out, and this is number 210. It came out in an August. An August of what year? I'm not sure. You can check that out. Superman, or Superboy, Starring the Legion of Superheroes. Uh oh, Lightning Lad striking somebody with a lightning bolt. You missed me, Lightning Lad. Are you blasted? All you blasted was a hole in the ground. That's what you think, Superboy. Oh man. Soldier's Private War. Extra. Origin of Karate Kid. Now, who did he hit? Hmm. Some of the funny covers they have. Okay, now we got the Saga of Swamp Thing, number 12. The Saga of Swamp Thing, number 12. I'll put that right there because it's the same one. This is the Saga of Swamp Thing, number 18. And then we have the Saga of Swamp Thing, number 18. Or no, this is just Swamp Thing, number 18. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay, look at the cover. He looks brown there. He's green. I mean, it's the lighting. Looks quiet, though. A violent act. He's trying to stop him with flame. Here, misty background. All these multiple mutants. Then we have here, Swamp Thing, the line of DC superstars in the village of the doomed. This is number 18, and it came out in a September. Swamp Thing. Let me see it's a little beat up and everything like that, but I didn't want to pass it up, I think. Let's see. Usually when it doesn't have anything in it, I usually pay a dollar for these. Very cool. Okay, let's come out with another one. Sophisticated Suspense, Swamp Thing, number 31. That came out December 83. And this one, I did a video show on this one in one of my Half Price Books videos. And Batman, The Dark Knight Returns. I think that's number two. No, book one. My mistake. Book one. And this came out... Oh, I forgot the year. That is cool, though, in the 90s. Okay, this is Detective Comics, number 593. And that came out December 1988. Wow. One of my favorite art, 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 artists, Norm Broyfogel. It's a very cool cover. Look at that. 
and this is always this is like a uh, cover that just nostalgia look at this really cool it just they use it a lot they homage a lot a lot of that that pose just like the uh, spider-man 300 video uh, cover and stuff like that they do it over and over again it's really cool because it's just a cool image you see now we got Batman number 427 book two of four a death in the family Robin finds his mother and waiting is the Joker planning a revenge that is swift, violent, terrible. Can Robin survive? You will decide. Wow. Details on inside back cover. I remember voting in that. Wow. I voted for him to live. I was a little more, more compassionate and everything like that. I didn't want him to die, but it didn't work. But he's back, though. He's back. Just imagine Stan Lee's Batman. Just different. Very cool. And this one here. This isn't the 3D cover, but I have a bunch of them. The new 52, Joker number one. 23.1 Joker over top of Batman. <laughs> and they got the chattering teeth thing. Faybot cover. Love it. You got Batman back there going, oh my gosh, I got to get out of here. Now, we got this. This one's a little bit more beat up, but I got one that's in really good condition. Batman Adventures. The Batman Adventures. First issue. This one came out in October 1992. Very cool. Like I said, I got to get the new book. The Adventures Continue. Batman The Adventures Continue. Or The Continued Adventure. How's it go? The Adventures Continue. I want to get that. It's out now, so I have to go to my comic book store and get it. And I, I wanted to get some blank covers, too, so I can draw on them. Batman, Legends of the Dark Knight, number 50. This one came out in 1993. Early September 1993, it says. What a Brian Boland cover. That is awesome. Look at that cat. Dennis O'Neill, rest in peace. Images. This is going to say, also in this issue... A special pinup section of the glare special pinup section featuring art by Howard Chaikin, Jim Lee, Mike Zeck, and many more, and many others. There are two different versions of Joker, Fabok and uh, Boland. Very cool. And here's another Batman cover here. A Night in the Life of Batman. This is number 383. came out in May. 1985. Very cool colors. The Superman, where the Batman face superimposed in white over top of it. That's cool. Now we got Batman number 475. Batman number 424. I have two copies of that one. I'm going to use some of these for giveaways uh, in my contest and everything, but not in this latest contest. This latest contest I'm going to have is a uh, that's really cool contest. I'm going to give away six action figures. So I'm going to do a video later. Right now I'm doing this one. Uh, but uh, stay tuned for that. And this is uh, uh, Batman Family Giant number three. Batman Family. So let's go over to this one first. Okay, we got Batman number 475. This came out in March 1982. Is it? Yeah, is that 82 or 92? My mistake, 92. I'm not sure if this is the first appearance of the ventriloquist, but very cool. The Return of Sacrifice, Part 1. Or Scarface. Look at me. Scarface, start Part 1. Start the word off. i got to get the whole thing. Let's say it right. This is Batman. 424. October 1988. This came out. With Robin on the cover there. Uh-oh, somebody fell. Man, oh man. Now this one's... DC Batgirl Robin Batman Family Giant number three came out in February a February the dynamite duel in Isle of a Thousand Thrills Batman Family meet the Batman Family Batwoman the Kite Man the Batman of the Future okay 
And Batgirl's standing in a dinosaur's mouth. I wonder if that's where the dinosaur came from and is that he keeps in his uh, bat cave. You have to find out. Hmm. Okay, now we got Batman Detective Comics starring Batman. We have another Batman Detective Comics. And we have another Batman Detective Comics. That's pretty cool. So I like the colors on that. This one's um, Detective Comics here. A Fabulous Full Length Shocker. This is number 503. Came out in June. Wow. Batman looks broken. And then we got Detective Comics starring Batman. This is number 517. It came out in August. Good Lord, what happened to you, Batman? <coughs> Alfred's just choking. Look, he's dropping his tea. He thought he was going to give him some tea, and he, he, he scared him. He dropped it. This is number 535. And this one came out, if I can get the glare off of there, February 1984. Wow. The new Robin unleashed at last. To do what? What is he going to do? In combat with Crazy Quilt. Okay. Wants to get caught in it when he's trying to get out of bed. And he's said, hey, it's, it's time to go, Robin. He's getting caught in a quilt and he can't get out of it. Batman, I'm stuck. Okay. You'll see Robin come up with something like that. Holy, holy crazy quilt, Batman. Look at this, I got more of these. Then we got Batman number 389, November 1985. That's really nice. I like that orange color, it looks like Catman almost. With a gargoyle in the background, or gargoyle in front of him. And then this one I found, I remember I saw a video where I, I had did this, I got this at one of my half price books. They had a ton of books out on all these racks. And this was one of them. And I said, I can't remember. Well, I wasn't sure. I said, I better grab this one because I think it's worth something. And it is. This is Batman number 417. And it came out in March 1988. Part 1 of 4. Batman, Ten Nights of the Beast. That is cool. My exec cover. Then I got another one of these. Batman 497. This one has the paper. Half paper on it. This one, like I said, it came out in late July 1993. I think this one, yeah. Wow. When Bane breaks the black back of Batman. You thought it could never happen. The breaking of the Batman. Okay, now we got another one here. Batman 459. This is February 1991. That's a cool, cool background. This guy who's like, are you watching a movie? <laughs> and this is Batman Adventures number eight. This one's a little beat up. And I got it anyway because it was like, I think it was a dollar. This one came out in July of 96. Batman and Robin Adventures. The Harley Quinn is the background. This is a DC Universe one. It's You see the ticks and everything on the side there. I don't, I'm not sure if the cover's pulled away or not. But like I said, when I saw what it was, I said, just grab it. Only a dollar. Something like that. I get this is a little trade, a graphic novel trade paperback collected version. It's a little damp down there on the bottom, I think. It, it had some rough edges, but I grabbed it because I just thought it was cool. A Lonely Place of Dying with Batman. And this one... Uh, doesn't say the year on this one. Very cool. George Perez cover there. Now we got Batman number 456. I have two copies of that. I'm going to use uh, one for a giveaway eventually. This one came out in November 1990. That's a cool cover. Roy Fogel, my, one of my favorite rock, rock artists. And here's a Batman number uh, 465. And this one looks like, let me see, came out in July 1991. Cool cover. And here's, like, 
I think I forget which Robin this is. Batman 457 came out in 1990, December 1990. He puts on the suit for the first time. Comes Robin. I'm sure if it's Tim Drake or the other, I can't forget forget who that is. But uh, just a second, let me pause it and find out. Yeah, it's Tim. Because here's Jason Todd. He here from a lonely place to die and everything like that. It, Jason Todd, memory of Jason Todd Robin. And then now here's Tim. The last page. Meet the new Robin. Next issue choices. Is there, there's Bruce and Alfred. I guess they like that. That's really cool. Okay, that's that. Now I'll put the book back. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to show three more, then I'll be done with this video. Don't try not to make them too long. This one's uh, Batman Year One, Part Four. This came out in May 1987, number 407. Love the video, the animated movie that came out. Very good. And this one's Batman number 575. Scott McDaniel cover and artwork. Very cool. I met him. I got a signed copy of this too. Very cool, man. And this is Justice League. It had to happen. Batman versus Guy Gardner. Showdown. This is number five, September uh, 1987. I have to do a reading of this one because this is really cool. Cool to see um, Batman knock him out in one punch. They're laughing like crazy. Oh, I bite. Okay. Let's see. I do a, just a few more. Now I got Lobo here. Lobo and the Mask, number one of two. From Dark Horse Comics. Crazy. Here's Lobo, part two of four of Death and Taxes. Number two, it came out in November 1996. And here's part four, or part uh, number four, uh, Lobo, Death and Taxes, January 1997, part four of four, it says. <laughs> silly. Now we have year one. Uh, Lobo, 1995 annual. This is number three. And this came out in 1995. Oh, what am I doing? 1995 annual. Yeah. I was looking to see what month it came out. But this is... When I saw this, I said, grab this. Because it's got all three Lobos on there. Or three versions of Lobo. It's probably going to work something. And it is. A little bit. Now we got Lobo, A Contract with God. He spells it weird, differently, and everything like that. So it might be, a, it's obviously a different God, I would think, and everything. Number one, April 1994, part one of four, suggested for mature readers, every, everything. Easy, Lobo is Lobo. And here's number two of that contract with God, May 94, part two of four. Wild. And here's number three. It came out in June 1994. Wild cover. And here's number four. This came out in July of 1994. <laughs> That's crazy. Here's the last one I'll show for now. This is uh, Lobo, uh, number 26. This came out in April of 1996. That's really cool. There's some cool covers and everything. But um, let me know what you think of these. Um, let me know if you have them. Let me know if you're looking to collect anything like this. And let me know um, if you have a half price books in your area and what you've been finding. Uh, let me know how co cool, what you think is cool, what you think isn't really that cool or anything like that. Because I'm just showing you these books that hopefully you like them. Everything. Some of these are going to be going up for sale. Some of them will be going up for uh, just giveaways and everything like that. Because I don't want to keep them all. Everything. I go through them, look at them, whatever I like, I keep. Whatever I don't, I just put together. And hopefully sell them eventually in a store that I'm going to try to open up online or on eBay. 
But uh, thank you very much for watching. Just guys, let me know what you think about the video, and I'll be doing more soon. And stay tuned for the contest video as well. All right, you guys have a great day, and Collect the Dude is out.